We talk about this and talk about that. Shut up, stop running out, let's talk about facts. Live a little, laugh a lot, let's have some fun. Listen to Gina, she'll tell you how it's done. Did you know? Good to know. What did you know? Well, now you know. Never know what's gonna happen on the No Filter Show. Loud and proud, funny and cool. Say what you're thinking, that's her only rule. The No Filter Show is brought to you by Boost Academy. Boost Academy is a smart school that prepares children, grades 4 through 12, for the modern world. Hi, everybody. Welcome to the No Filter Show with me, Gina Knowles. And today I have some exciting guests. It's all about the ocean today. We have Lindsay the mermaid, the real 100% Bahamian mermaid. And then, oh, should I say Lindsay Knowles? Lindsay Knowles Belton. Gee, don't let my husband kill me. Lindsay Knowles Belton, the Bahamian mermaid. And Tony Knowles, I know, and I'm Gina Knowles. And guess what, you're gonna think we're all family because I know you'll think that all the Knowles are related, but it don't really happen like that. We just all happen to be in the thing. All right. So, Tony Knowles from Black Bear's Revenge, which is a big pirate ship that when you go under the bridge, you'd be like freaking out because it looked like I hit the bridge. Every time I see that, I like freak out. And I went on it and I said, Tony has to come to let everybody know about it because it's dead decent. Like I wanted a bad party. So anyway, we're going to interview them today and let you all know everything that's going on and keep you all up to date. All right. So I'll see you in a minute. The No Filter Show is proudly sponsored by Another Production, BAF Financial and Insurance, Battery and Tire Alignment Specialist, Bliss Wax Boutique, Checkers Cafe, Dairy Queen, Live to Fish, Mesa Grill, Milo Butler and Sons, Pop Star Entertainment, Oasis Shopping, Boost Academy, and Quality Home Center. Hi everybody, good afternoon. My name is Mitsunori Chikawa. Welcome to Latitude Restaurant. Today, we prepare a hamachi jalapeno tiradito. On my business, I try to, to mix different flavors in each hamachi slices. Here we are, okay? So, this is Hamachi Spicy Jalapeno. Welcome. Plan the best day of your life today. Check us out at www.live2.fish or on Facebook, Instagram, and TripAdvisor. Email us at info at live2.fish. This segment is brought to you by Mesa Grill. Hi, everybody. Welcome back to the No Filter Show. And as promised, guess who I have here? I'm going to do the... Do, 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 do. Lindsay the Mermaid. And you all know that, I see a lot of people won't know that song because we're like, a little old. But the I hope, 80s. Yeah, it's probably a little mermaid. <laughs> so we have the real Bahamian mermaid, the one and only. And you know what? I knew Lindsay since she was born. And she was like born to be a mermaid. I swear. <laughs> 
So I'm really excited to have you here because suddenly it has passed like year and a half. She's flicking, exploding, okay? Everybody, all the kids are into mermaids, which is cool. And now like everybody has to have Lindsay the mermaid and you want to see her. And then a big thing went down the other day because they went and got this other mermaid and everybody's pissed off that wasn't oh, our gosh. Lindsay. So, you know, then I was like, I need to bring you on the show because everybody needs to know about our Bahamian mermaid. So, Lindsay, welcome, honey. Thank you for having me. I'm super excited. This is so pretty. Look at her. Thank you. And she put on glitter so that I didn't need glitter. Yeah. Because we had to be both glitter. <laughs> I was jealous. You all know I like glitter, but Ashley should be trying to take this glitter away from me. Anyway, so, and then Lindsay explained to me, glitter is not good for the environment. No, it's not. So, so yeah, we have to find a biodic. Invent it. Biodegradable. Biodegradable. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'll be honest. I'm a little nervous. So yeah. that's. Nervous with me? Yeah, I'm no. nervous. Don't mind no cameras. They're not even there. <laughs> so, Lindsay, tell me about your stuff. We can put some of the pictures up of what okay. you do. Okay. And all these things. And I use teach people. I know you, she's going to teach my daughter how to be the mermaid. I am. <laughs> oh, she so has excited. red hair. So she has red hair. She's like the mermaid. <laughs> so, tell me, what, you, what do you do? What do you do it? I, I know it's a part-time thing, but we need to be full-time. Okay. <laughs> That's the goal. <laughs> I, do, I do a lot of things, Gina. Um, I can do performances for corporate groups. I can do dry events, but my main, main goal is to spread a message, a very important message. Do you know what the message is? I don't know, but I know you're all about cleaning up the beach and cleaning up the water. Don't put no plastic since I knew you from a little girl. You was always on me with that. So I don't yeah. know, there's a message in there? Yes. Okay. To spread the most important message that we as Bahamians, everybody in the world, should make a priority to protect our beautiful Bahama land. That, that is the main message. And Everybody wants to be a mermaid, like you said, okay? I was an 80s baby, Little Mermaid came out. I mean, I grew up on the boat. Um, and they're fascinated with a mermaid. You know, it's a mythical thing, creature. So for many years, I was educating a lot of Bahamians about the importance of the environment and all of that. Don't throw the, your trash in the ocean. And it hit me one day. I said, there has to be a way to get to these kids a little better than just standing up in front of the classroom and telling them, like, I know this and you need to listen to me, right? I said, you know what? They sit on Santa's lap. And when Santa tell them to brush their teeth, they brush their teeth, right? <laughs> so if they come and meet a mermaid, I'm an ocean ambassador. I'm making a connection. And they, oh, they sit right there and they tell me all their stories. Oh, I saw this fish and it has these stripes. And I'm, they're captive. I have them. I can teach them about the ocean. So although I do love to go and do the performances for the tourists that come and visit, I'm, you know, I'm a John Canoe, what do they call it? A shack rack. <laughs> a, shot, a shack rat. I, I love John Canoe. I love dressing up. I'm the one that if you come to my costume party and you're in a costume, you're not coming yes, you're inside. That's right. <laughs> That's me. Stop so, the door. <laughs> <laughs> so I love to um, get dressed up and have, and you know, I love customer service. We talked about this earlier. I'm obsessed with it. So I love to give the best customer service and the best experience when tourists come here. I want them to know about us and see all these amazing things. So that part is fun. I love doing that. But my main goal is to spread my message. Um, so I do do a lot of beach cleanups. Um, I'm starting to work on educational programs because when I was a child, Gina, I I didn't know it, but I learned by seeing things and doing things. I'll never forget that field trip where I went to Chelsea's Choice. Should I, can I say that? Mm -hmm. Can I say Chelsea's Choice? <laughs> They're not and, a sponsor, but hey. <laughs> <laughs> and I'll never forget walking through the plant and just seeing how they made the bottles and how they filled the bottles with water. And kids won't forget their field trips. So my goal is to say, hey, maybe it's not, the teachers aren't able to take those kids out. I want to help you be able to take those kids out and walk in the intertidal zone, you know what that is? Sorry, right. the tidal pools, uh -huh. and walk in there and look at the little organisms and learn. So they don't forget that, they'll always remember. I remember when Mermaid Lindsay took me out on the beach and taught me about whatever, the conch, right. the queen conch, which is one of my biggest things. We and can talk about she, that later. So she knows <laughs> about, let me tell you, Lindsay has always, I'm telling you, she was born to be a mermaid. Um, <laughs> she has always been on us about the beaches, the water, and some things, you remember you were the one who taught me even how bad um, cigarettes were uh -huh. for the environment. And she would send me these little pictures, <laughs> right? 
And she'll be like, you know this, and you know that. And I was like, wow, I didn't know that. And I'd be like, put that on head nose. That's right. Post, Post that, that on head nose. Post that. <laughs> and I was like, wow. And she, because, you, you know, you were also the one who taught me about the plastic bags with the turtles mm -hmm. and how they look like jellyfish. I was and, sorry about that. And it, and it was so cute because of the fact that she would always send me a picture, almost like a kid, like, here, this is so you can see it and understand how it works. And I'd be like, oh, it does look like a jellyfish. <laughs> So a, a story about that, um, it hit me many, many years ago. I was at Super Value and I always take my grocery totes and I was like, you know, one of them first set who taken their grocery totes to the food store. And you know, they give you a look like, what, yeah, what, what are weird. you doing? Like you're weird. I'm the weird woman. Yes, the conky Joe who walks in is like, no, 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 no plastic. <laughs> Put in here. So I had this packing boy and he was so nice. I love the nice packing boys because I gravitate towards them. and. He looked a little weird. So as I'm walking to the car, I said, do you know why I'm doing this? He's like, no. I said, okay. What I want you to do is when I come back next time, I, I give you homework. <laughs> I gave the packing boy homework. <laughs> I said, I want you to tell, find out what turtles eat. Okay? So a couple weeks go by. I forget about this because my head, I got to write everything down. So I forgot. And he comes running to me in super value. He say, miss, miss, you remember me? And I'm like, no, no, I don't, right? And I said, so he said, the thing, the thing with the bag. And I said, oh, yeah. And he said, they eat jellyfish, and that's why plastic bags are bad. And I said, I got a chill over my body. Right. Like, Lindsay, this is what you're meant, this is yes. it. You know, it was so hard for many years at my old position. I cleaned beaches all, I, for seven years straight. I hosted this huge beach cleanup. And I do little ones, and I go back to the same beach, and it's the same thing. And it was crushing me. I was like, there's nothing happening. Nothing is changing. However, then I met this one kid who remembers me from years ago, and they remembered my message. And that helped, that kept, kept me going, I and guess I you could say. And I think young, too. Oh, yeah. But you have, you, you, you know, it's going to take time. Yes. It's not going to happen overnight. Yes. But if you notice, there's more and more people now. Yes. Who are who are caring about the environment. Yeah. Suddenly more it, it is right. even on Facebook more people oh, yeah. are talking about it and complaining about it and when they drive and they see dirt, they take pictures <laughs> and they're like, Oh, look at this one threw something out the out the window and look at this and they put them on blast and I love stuff like that, you know. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So um I think that it does make a big difference the more we push and educate. Mm -hmm. Because some people like the same way I didn't know until you told me. You know, if you educate them and they know, you know, this is what happens, they're down to the cigarettes. You know, yeah. I didn't know people flicking them out the window every well, day. You know, I don't smoke, by the way. I don't want people to think. Oh, hold, on, oh, hold on, outside. Gina. Hold, where my bag? Who moved my grocery tote? I, I have. Look at these people. <laughs> grocery tote. Where the grocery tote gone? The, oh, not saw that. Y'all know there's people here, like just hiding off to the side, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I brought something for Gina. Oh my gosh! Do we have time for this? I don't know. No. Oh. Well, what we gotta do is Stephen is gonna tell me if I can do this. Stephen, can we? Cut, and then when we come back, the mermaid's going to be here. You want the mermaid to come back? Yes. Oh, okay. I want the, the mermaid has to come back. Dun, dun, dun. No. Oh. <laughs> this is the mermaid. She has to come. So we'll be back in two minutes. Watch my commercials. Boost Educational Services presents Boost Academy, a boutique smart school that prepares children in grades 4 through 12 for the modern world. Students will be held to international standards in their core subjects while also engaging in individualized learning pathways that play to their unique strengths and interests. Boost maintains a student-staff ratio of 1 to 8 and provides after-school clubs, classes, one-on-one -on -one tutoring, and social-emotional counseling support at no additional cost. Furthermore, students will enjoy weekly PE and swimming at Evolve Functional Fitness. Stepping away from the traditional model, Boost Academy aims to prepare your child for world citizenship by tackling topics such as human rights, the Constitution, financial literacy, and entrepreneurship. If you're a parent with uncompromising standards for education and you're seeking a holistic educational program, please reach out. Find us on the web at www.boostbahamas.com or email info at boostbahamas.com. Here's to all the early morning breakfasts. To the last minute surprises. And a new friend for life. The year the sparks flew and we said, I do. Here's to the biggest table on the street when family and friends come together. Milo Butler, your 
neighborhood store, a family tradition. Hey, hey, boo, what's up? Right, yeah. You still going to the event? Yeah, I ordered my dress right now. Let me go, you Okay, good. Me too. Hey, what's up? Hey, 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 This segment is brought to you by Battery and Tire Alignment Specialists. Hi, everybody. Welcome back to the No Filter Show. And we have with us, dun, dun, dun. Let me do it. Aww, Lindsay the Mermaid. Look at her awesome tail. And I just want you to know, I wish that we actually could show all in between how long it takes for her to get like this. I can need some water. Listen, Listen to me, and she has to stop, stop and breathe, and <laughs> and I, and, and it, it's it's a lot of work, man. Let me tell you, you can pay me to do that. Like, you know that. She has to be flicking a mermaid. So, Lindsay, I wanted to see how this feels. Be careful, careful! Ow, you're stepping on it. Oh, and listen, this feels like a real fish thing. It's gross. <laughs> Y'all should, should feel it, <laughs> and but it weighs. Jesus. It weighs 35 pounds. Approximately 35 pounds dry, but wet, it, it's, it's a lot more. Oh my God, <laughs> listen to me. You all should feel, you know, it's really heavy. I'm not faking. I don't know, so I, and then you, so you have to swim with this. And so, it's, okay. You seem like you making me. I know. <laughs> you gotta breathe. It's, I know. So it's, a, it's actually, now that I say it, it's a lot of yoga in it. A lot of, um, I, a lot of tools that free divers use. I, I um, when I got trained by the Bahamian free divers, so it's a lot of breathing. So you need to take a breath first, you know. <laughs> but yes, I do a lot of breathing. <laughs> and this is my full swimmable tail. I have um, three tails. The very pretty one that was recently on Instagram that everybody loves. Nice. That's my fabric tail. It's a lot lighter. It's a lot easier to get it. But this one, um, it, it allows me to go a lot faster and look more realistic. And it feels, you should feel it. It feels like a real fish. You can hear it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna knock, knock you out now. <laughs> and look at her crown. And I, I made my crown with a friend. We made it together. It's a recycled carnival costume crown that I wore in Jamaica. So I'm, you know, I'm all about recycling. Yes. But I put on my own gyms and everything. So I made my own crown. And my top, because you were asking about my top. Um, I had a friend of mine, Javi. Most people should know her. Yes. She. I was like, Javi, I, I need top girl. And so she whipped this up in no time. Um, but. I have a surprise for you. Remember, I was looking for my bag, and you're all like, hi, thanks. Jeez. Yeah. Uh -huh. I don't all know right. What this so, bag. we were talking about beach cleanups, and we were talking about kids connecting, et cetera. So, I always like to do a game, something fun. So, you want to play a game? Take it over my show. Okay. okay. I'm t is that okay? Uh, do I get a prize? Um, you get Mermaid Lindsay for a free event. What? I'm going to take that. If you win. Oh, jeez. Okay. So, I've got some stuff in the bag. Okay. Gina, you can have the bag. I have the bag. All right. Mm -hmm. And. Those are stuff that you will find on the beach mm -hmm. after a holiday, anytime. You're gonna find it on a beach. Do and I have to say what it is? You or? have to take them out and let's try to put them in order of how long it takes to break down in the environment. <laughs> and this came from my house, but everything else I found. That's a, yeah, that's, that's my I'm not even drink today. Sponsor. <laughs> They're not a sponsor? No. Oh, well, they should sponsor. That's Ew. a yep, that's a show them. Why why do you show them? It's an apple core. Okay. <laughs> okay. And oh, it stinks, Lindsay. Well, I, I mean okay. that's what you find on the beach. And, and, okay. okay. I'm classic bag. Okay? So you're putting it, let's go by you is the least amount of time to break down in the environment. To me, what takes the longest to break down in the environment. Hopefully she'll get it. This is an easy one. And of course, I have to look at my phone because I always forget. Two of them are really hard. All right, so this is correct, right? Oh, look at my Tony, 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 thanks, Tony. Tony, ah, nine. Ah, ah. Um, yeah. you're, you're not, it's not right, Gina, I'm sorry. Um, hmm. the, the apple, apple core, not, not the, the paper. paper. The apple core, show them. It's an apple, yes? Yeah, yeah show them. You know, that has to be, be first. first. You know, your children is like to just buy it, like bite it like that and leave around the house. Right. right. Yeah. So, so that, that has to be first. first. That's fruit. Okay, that's correct. This is correct. Okay, and all the rest are wrong? 
There you go. All right. Yay! So, you get Mermaid Lindsay, Gina, what? for something. Okay. We'll discuss. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like if it's this or this. Yeah, yeah. 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 Okay. So, you want to you wanna guess? You want to figure out how long it takes? No. no. Okay. So, this, this takes a year. This takes a, this takes a year? Ten, Ten years. years. Tell me nothing. Do not tell her. Glass. Do you know how glass is made? 200 years. Stop. Do you know how glass is made? No. no. Okay. High heat and pressure. Okay. Okay. What in the world is high heat and pressure that is not in the Bahamas? That creates high heat and pressure. That explodes. That's probably the only thing in nature that could break this down. A volcano. A volcano. There you go. Okay. All right. <laughs> so this one is undetermined. All right. God, and this apple cross yep, stinks. The foam. You could throw it away. The Thanks. foam. Sorry, you were wrong. It's the diaper. The diaper is 450 years. Didn't I have that diaper there first and she told me no? No, you had the plastic bag. Oh, okay. It's okay. The foam cup is 50 years and the plastic bag is 10 to 20 years and the apple core is two months. You all hear that? that? Mm -hmm. yeah. Let's put all this back of this bag. Yeah. But that, how, how, how long is that? This is undetermined. It's glass. Oh, glass we don't even know. Yeah. All right, so, so Lindsay, Lindsay, let everybody know. know. How do they get in touch with you? MermaidLindsay at gmail.com, and it's L-I-N-Z-I, -I, because nobody can spell my name. Two eyes. Yeah, L-I-N-Z-I, -I. MermaidLindsay right. at gmail.com. Right, and, and Instagram. Instagram. On Instagram, MermaidLindsay, Facebook, MermaidLindsay, but I will tell you that email is the best. Yes, yes. Always, always the best. best. Always the best. And your next uh, beach, beach cleanup. Cleanup. Oh, yes. So I'm co-hosting a beach cleanup at Yamacraw, August 31st, 6 to 9 a.m. with some yoga friends. We're going to set our intentions for the day with the beautiful ocean, and then we're going to clean up in our bikinis. What? Men and women and children are welcome. It's going to be really, really fun. You have to come on out. Now, now she, she said, said that all the men are going to come out. Yes. Just to look at the, but, but if you, you come, you have to clean, clean okay? okay? You have to. Yeah. yeah. So, so thank, thank you so, so much, much for coming. coming. Thank you I for appreciate me. it. It's the, the one and only. Lindsay the Mermaid, Mermaid Lindsay. Lindsay the Quality Home Center. You will see the segments from when you enter. The one stop department store with so much niceness. Friendly staff, great atmosphere, low prices. They got brand name appliances, furniture, hardware, electronics, home decor, toys and apparel. Shop and save. There's no need to go away. Stop and shop at the Quality Home Center. Home Center, spend less and live better. With Trio, you can get everything and more, like our phone. You get features like caller ID, call waiting, call forwarding, and a bunch of others like <coughs> virtual number. So you can now call friends and family abroad as a local call, all for free. Just call 601-2200 and tell them that you want Trio TV, phone, internet for $99. Powered by Rev. You and us together. This segment is brought to you by Milo Butler and Sons. Hi everybody, we're back with the No Filter Show. And as promised, I have with us Tony Knowles from Blackbeard's Revenge. That's a big, huge, how big is that? Tony, first of all, before I, I you know me, I'm going to go just guess the number and it's going to suck. So, Tony, welcome to the show. It's a pleasure to be here. Ahoy, mateys. There you go. Ah, my lady. He didn't put on his pirate outfit. Because he had I, I, one, one meeting with the minister or something. I was like, <laughs> come on. Like, they're important. I'm important. And he didn't wear his costume. Lindsay, get on him. You are important, <laughs> and I'm excited to be here. So tell me something. How big is that ship? She's big. Yeah, uh, she's big. And you said it right. You didn't say boat. You said ship. Yes. She is 140 feet long, 28 feet wide. Her hole is 12 feet, so she's like the size of some people's houses. 7,800 square feet of deck space, two air-conditioned rooms, yes. 10 bathrooms, I didn't uh, discover the air-conditioned room until after I started sweating because I was dancing to death. We had a good time. <laughs> had a good time. And um, she's she's handicap compliant. And I love it. It's she's a she. You know all boats are she's. I don't know if you all know that. Any boat ship, most things to do with men, they're she's. Well, I was told by a boat builder designer that she's very sexy. 
Oh, she is sexy Hello. indeed. But this is my question too. You know, I think that somebody, one of your um, pirates spoiled it for me because so every time I see the ship going under the bridge, I wait for it to hit, I swear. And I'm like, jeez! But then they told me it actually, you can control that. Well, it's, it's a feature on the boat. It's the only boat in the world that has a telescoping mast straight up and straight down. Um, she is designed by me. Um, she's as bohemian as peace and rice and guava duff. Yes, how long did that take? Because I it remember was, um, like when you started doing this, you're like, Gina, you know I do on this pirate ship, you know. Yes. And, 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 and then you would send me pictures, we'd bump each other in the bike, exactly. and you'd be certain, I'm, and I'm like, you, yeah. gee, this is happening. Well, it got, a, it got a lot of ways before it got better. I literally looked the world over for this boat. Um, and the idea came back to me. Um, back in 1995, so it tells you a little bit how old I am. But I pioneered helicopter charter services. Yes, you um, always with tourism. Yeah, I, I, I guess it's, I didn't really go after it, but it found me. Yes. And I, I love what I do. I love. We're talkers. It, naturally. Exactly. The, but the take taking care of people. Taking yes. care of people and making sure that they have fun and a good time. Um, sat with my mom, she's here from the islands, and we just laughed about two hours. I mean, mm. she's hilarious, a lot of fun. So I have a lot of that from her. Mm -hmm. And um, it's good to be in the industry, in the business. But I looked, and some of the places I looked was um, Sweden, Spain, Italy, Indonesia, New Zealand, Australia, He went on a world Mexico. tour. I hope you heard this. Um, but when buying a boat, it's not like buying a car house. You have to put a deposit, a non-refundable deposit to the broker. And so a lot of money was spent on that. And I began realizing along the way that you know what, I might just have to build this boat. Um, this I is how I want it. Right, but the problem is these other boats, they they were drawing too much water, which means that they couldn't float in the Montague Bay area. They would all have to go out to the, the western entrance. And, right. And I didn't want to be restricted to that because you get outside, this time of year it's beautiful, but in the middle of the cold fronts, yes. the northeast is getting real rough. rough. So I didn't want anyone worrying about being seasick. Um, so I had to go under the bridge. Right. And then the mass, so I had to make a telescoping mass. And it actually works by remote control. She extends 40 feet up. So it's like 30 feet taller than the bridge. The first time out and I were going out, I stopped the people on the bridge. Can and you they imagine? Sure the right? <laughs> The boats was coming at me, yeah. Hit it, she dropped, and then hit it, came back up. It was, it was right out of the movies. It was super uh, cool. When I was on the boat that night, that's how I felt. I was like, I kept sitting there going, like, and then I don't even know what happened because I don't, I didn't notice it move. Right. And then I said, I was like, how did we not hit? And the dude was like, oh no, it actually, we have a thing. And I was like, you lie. I said, it's cool. Eh? I said, only Tony, trust me. So everybody's all themed out. Yes. And they go, they have a, a, a very educational tour. How Correct. often do you go out? We go out three times a day. Um, it's a 9, 11, and 2.30 for this. Uh, everybody's in, in character, everybody's in yes. costume, and we have Bahamian actors on board, and by the way, they're, they're phenomenal. And we are very talented people. I mean, look yes. at you, you're a really star. Yeah. And then Lindsay, uh, I, um, I'm excited for them. Johnny Depp actually came on board for four hours, and he was very, very impressed. We are pirate. Um, but he told me that he's the Johnny the actor, you're Tony the Pirate. Ah, that's cool. <laughs> back in the day when he was doing Pirates of the Caribbean. Yes. I met him down in Samson Key. Um, but I, you know, Pirates is almost like mermaids. Right? They go hand in hand, right? That's right. And I think that's why you put it together, genius that you are. Um, <laughs> and so she's all Bahamian built, um, designed, financed. Um, I'm very, very proud of the product that we created. And we, want, we wanted it. Building it here says a lot. We want to support yeah, absolutely. the local economy, and uh, we had the guys who were, you know, chipping the rust and painting and helping out, and then we coming down to completion, and then they're like, oh, "What's what's going to happen to me?" Uh, and I was thinking the same thing. I said, "You know what? Call a meeting." I said, "Guys, you know what? I'm going to give you the opportunity to prove yourselves right and deserving for this job." And I am happy to say, thrilled that they shine like stars. Um, so it's a a lot of um, Self, you know, self accomplishments, but seeing people grow and develop yes. in, in, into something. There's a lot to it. So yeah, there's three three trips in the day: um, nine, nine thirty, eleven, and two thirty, and then we do a sunset.
cruise also. Now, the Sunset Cruise is the one where all the dining room tables come out? No. So, no. is that a spe you do that occasionally? Yeah, occasionally. The, the Tuesday and Thursday is the, the, the dinner, cruise, and cultural show. And so, we're, we're, we're a pirate ship themed um, entertainment on the water. But we're we're more than that. We're, we're Bahamian and we're pirates, so we can evolve and change. Um, but we're all about um, entertainment and displaying our Bahamian culture, which I feel is so rich. But yes. We, we're not we're, we're doing it somewhat with Junkanoo, but but not so much with all the the other arts that we have here. And it's a, it's an opportunity to allow us to shine. And they're hungry. Tourists are hungry for it. Yes. I they also manage a hotel. You always saying the do. Say, where do you go? Because I manage a hotel. Go to the fish fry. Well, that's, we did that. We, we, we did that. Yeah, what we, did what that. do we do now? Yeah, well, well that's just exciting. Because, you know, water, the, the sun, the sun, sea, that's great. But if you're a stay over and you did that already, and then, you know, you get a lot of sun, you're looking for a break, you want to go explore, do different things. And, yeah, you know, Paris is a huge part of the, 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 our history. Our history. That's you know, what makes us us. And an old Blackbeard, I named her Blackbeard's Revenge in, in, in honor of the most notorious pirate. And a lot of pe people thought that he was vicious and a murderer. Really never murdered anybody. It was all propaganda. See, I'm learning too. Um, and he made Fort Montague was really Montague Bay. Yes. Which is hang out. And then the tower up there on the hill. And so we, it's a lot of history in it. We have some antiques on board. A lot of people, too, who have been on it, and they're like, they learn so much that they never even knew. And this is what kills me, is we don't know about our own history. And I was like, y'all don't know Tony A. I'm sure Tony went and dug up every piece of history possible, because it's always a learning, did you know, did you know, did you know? Yes. And that's what I, I really like about it. And b um, b before I go out, I make sure that everybody know, how many people hold on the boat for the stand-up, the sit-down, for the dinner cruise, for the, and then mm -hmm. if I want to have a private party, I could rent out the whole boat. Yes, the boat could, the whole boat could be yours, and then the, you could also break it down where you could have a deck, and then you could have the VIP captain's ah, lounge. Yes. So it's something for everybody, um, and it's perfect for excursions and corporate events. Um, total capacity is 400, Jeez. 400, partying. Um, sit down dinner. Partying. We had 100 and 150 is comfortable, and to be out there on in, in Nassau Harbor at sunset, then the lights of Nassau comes up. It is really amazing. It's spectacular, and you know what too? I felt that night of, of, of the, the party that we went on. You're on the ocean. It's you don't have to worry about crashers. You're safe. Correct. You're, you all, you're surrounded by your people, and the DJ is up high, and we were on the deck just partying, dance, I mean, dance, and I was just sweating, sweating, right? And then it was so jokey. I didn't even know this, uh, this um, little air-conditioned lounge existed, and then I suddenly found it, and I was like, oh! <laughs> so I said, this boat has everything, and I wish it had been my party, but I had fun. So, uh, Tony, where do they find all the information? Uh, BlackbeardsRevenge.com, um, Facebook, BlackbeardsRevenge.com, Instagram, BlackbeardsRevenge.B, like Bahamas. Okay. Um, so check so us out there. And I was going to say, just go on the internet and type in Blackbeard's Revenge, and something's going to come up so you can find out the information about it. And, and listen, if you have a chance, make sure go and do the tour, because I always said, the, people think that there's nothing for us to do as Bahamians too, and just because you think that it's a pirate thing and it's something for the, the, the tourists only, it's always good if you do it as well. So you could okay. say, we, we're always looking for stuff to do too. Yeah. So go and do it. I did it. It's a lot of fun. And I I, I endorse it, I tell you. Because he wouldn't have been here. I let ah, you know. thank you, my let, lady. Let, let, let me say that. <laughs> hey, but it's a lot of fun. Tony, thank you so much for coming. It's, uh, been, it's been a pleasure. And please, yeah, it's not only for the tourists, it's for Bahamians. Yes. And especially the kids, it's very educational. Um, bring out the school kids. That's they a really good idea too. School field trips. That's yeah. a great idea. Yeah, they, they they come on. You can feel the energy. The boat yes. is filled with energy. And looking at it is one thing, Gina. But to walk on the deck and to feel it. Yes. It is. It, it, there's a lot going on. It's like you walk back in time. Yeah, it's and, really cool. And the, the the what I like is the the staff is really bought into their the they're character. in character. Yes. They stay in character the whole time, and that's that that's really hard to do with our people. So, Tony, don't worry. Everybody's going to check it out. And when y'all go, y'all can say, Gina sent me. <laughs> I didn't say you could get a discount. I didn't say, this say, Gina sent you. Thanks, Tony. Thank you so Love much. You. It's been a pleasure. All right, Always. Dollar. 
Welcome back to the Gold Filter Show, everybody. Wasn't it awesome? I hope you learned a lot. And remember the important dates. I know that we're going to have, um, Lindsay gave us dates. And the good thing is we could always rewind back, you know. But August 31st, beach cleanup is on Yamakura. And then Tony has a bunch of cool stuff going on. And then you can check on the Facebook pages of both of them, all the events that are going on. And then make sure, experience a boat. That pirate ship, go and experience that. It, you got to say it. I mean, you got to do it in order to say, to, to, you can't just be one of the behemoths to talk about it. You all know you ought to see it. It is a lot different when you're on the boat. Trust me. Because I was seeing it. And then when I went on the boat, and that's how Tony ended up on the show. So, and when I had my little venting piece, I want to make sure on head notes, I put a little poll where about manners. Because you all know at the end of my show, I like to have my little vent where I round about something. I think that manners is going down. Because I was walking in the food store the other day, and the dude had me open the door for him. And I did this. And I was like, what just happened? I was very confused. And I grabbed him. You know, I grabbed him. And I said, did your mother not tell you you should hold the doors open for girls? He was like 18. And guess what he said? No. Mm, shame. So, um, parents, aunties, uncles, grandparents, tell your sons nephews, grandsons, whatever. It's nice to hold open a door for a girl. We need to get back on this manners thing. And please, thank you. Good afternoon. Not, hey, because I'm your friend, you know? But, hope you all had fun today. I had fun. Learned about the ocean and all that stuff. Hope to see you next week. Happy Wednesday. Promotional consideration provided by Oasis Shopping and Quality Home Center.